Rick. Rick. Where are you? Cops, cops are here. Where are you? Rick, follow me quickly. They're in here, they're in here. Today, we're in Illinois, exploring an abandoned all-female prison with an infamous past. Inmates in this prison were known for unrest, beating guards with pipes, refusing to be locked in rooms, escaping, and even an attempted murder on a guard with a guitar string. Some very dangerous inmates did time here before the facility closed in 2013 due to financial hardships from the state. This included one Amanda Wallace, who had been sentenced to life in prison for murdering her three-year-old son. She, however, would not serve her full sentence as she hanged herself in her room with cloth from her robe. With the laundry list of wicked and vile things that happened here, we were very interested to see what was left over. So sit back, grab a drink, and let's explore. Who is it? Some Asian dude. Yeah, what the hell is this? What must have this been? A rec room or something? Nicer. These rooms must have been for the guards. Look, peace, joy, love. Nicer. Oh, this must have been the bathroom. Yeah. It's actually pretty nice. building. This doesn't look cool. I don't wanna... You wanna go to that Swedish looking place over there? Yeah, I don't wanna waste my time on stuff like this. We could breeze through. Might be, uh... There might be some medical equipment behind You're there. right. I need to think about that. Okay, we're gonna get all buildings down with yeah. medical equipment. Alright, let's go in here. 
Yeah, this is the, I think this is the medical unit, medical health. would have been. They've been in here. This must have been like the psych ward. So, I think this was a mental health unit. I'm not a 100%, but it would make sense because these windows are really big. Unlike some of the other um, cells in some of the other buildings because if they had mental health issues, they would have this big window, so that way there's no way for them to hide anything inside the rooms. It looks like they're double cleaning too. Yeah. That's some thick glass. But they would do this, it would make sense because they were worried about them killing themselves. And so they would have these huge openings so that way there's no way. And you can see literally everything from here. 12, 2012. Yeah, 2012. Almost nine years ago, exactly. this building is. That's a unit. This is a house. It well, seems like a house, but why would they have... I don't understand why they would have have it caged in if it was like security's house. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out, you know? I'm trying to wrap my head around it. There's like three stories to this thing, so. storage for prisoners and that's why they gave them this after a few hours of exploring we decided it was time to see the reason why we came here in the first place the nearly untouched maximum security prison cell blocks a later addition to the facility added back in 1995 that ended up costing 85 million dollars upon completion the overcrowding and safety concerns wouldn't end here though this new facility resulted in an increase in assaults on staff inmate health problems including tuberculosis and aids and higher reconviction rates from poor education and vocational programs offered by the facility after spending hours here and not seeing anyone but us. We realized we weren't here by ourselves. Someone was watching and listening. I think that's where we need to go. Down this road. All right, let's be careful. Because if there is security, they might be in front of this place. This is the max, the high security. All right. Oh, it's nice, dude. I can already see it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. 
All right, you pick a hall. I'm gonna go down this hallway, you pick one. I'm just doing this because it's orange. Condition orange. Wow. This is incredible. every day. Some of the locks got taken out. This won't lock. What's over here? Showers. Public restroom. <laughs> showers and this is where you would have not wanted to uh, drop the soap this would have been the uh, the worst of the worst probably in here Dude, this is incredible. It's 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 almost never this pristine. I mean, I know there's broken, but like, this is this is crazy. Hey, Rick. Rick. It's worth it. I'm going to the roof. Rick. 
Rick. Rick. Where are you? Cops, cops are here. Where are you? Yes, I'm serious. Follow me quickly. Follow me quickly. We're going to the roof. We don't... They're not right in front of this place, but they're really close by. It's a fire truck and a cop. You need to follow me. He didn't see me, but they may have seen us on camera. I'm 100% serious. I know. Here. Up. We have to go up. We can't go out right now. Dude, I know. I got scared. I heard a truck.
if I get caught. Do you want me to not say anything about you? No, we're in this together. Okay. This is the second time it's happened now, and each time it's like three hours. Yeah. This was even scarier because we thought they were boarding it up. Yeah. So for two and a half hours, we were like, we're, we're, we thought we were really, like we we're gonna have to call the cops that were sitting out front to let us out. A huge shout out to Explore with Rick for sharing some footage with me to make this video possible. Thank you, brother. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. I try and post a video every day with episodes out every other week. If you've made it this far, message Firetruck in the comments. Stay tuned for our next episode where we explore a semi-abandoned manufacturing warehouse where we have to hide from workers. Have a good morning, afternoon, and night, and we'll see you next time.